Hi there, my name is Adam Harris, Managing Director for Seatherm Technologies. Today we're going to be looking at characterizing some advanced fabrics and textiles with our TCI Thermal Conductivity Analyzer you see here. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, today as a simple experiment, uh, work done on three uh, different uh, types of materials. We're going to start with just a solid 100% cotton t-shirt, just as a point of uh, comparison or baseline. We're then going to look at a, um, uh, a t-shirt, the green one here, that uh, is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. And then we're going to look at some uh, more advanced uh, materials, um, like, such as the gray shirt here, which is 66% micro nylon, 21% uh, micro polyester, and 13% uh, uh, spandex. We're going to be measuring uh, these uh, materials with our TCI thermal conductivity sensor. Uh, the sensor uh, is based on one-sided interfacial measurement and the um, primary sensing element is this uh, green sensor chip uh, here. Uh, it's based on uh, the same principle as how your hands can touch different types of materials uh, and differentiate their thermal properties um, based on the buildup of heat between the uh, sample and the sensor, in the case of uh, your hands, uh, or the sensor itself. Um, so to test the sample, we're simply going to place it on the active area of the uh, sensor, which you see here, and I'm going to use the extension plate here, just so we have a little bit more room uh, in terms of placement of that sample. Now what we want to make sure is here is that we fully cover this active green area of the sensor. Okay, so we've got good coverage there. Just to make sure we get a good equal distribution and compression of the sample, um, we are going to place a, uh, um, a piece of uh, glass here uh, and then our standard weight. And the weight's there to ensure that we get a good contact uh, with the sensor itself. We won't, don't want to just put the weight on because it, uh, it would cause too much localized uh, uh, compressibility of the material as where the cotton is very compressible. So we want to displace that weight over the full uh, surface area for consistency. Okay, so once the uh, material is set up on the sensor, we go to our software, uh, and you see the TCI thermal analysis software here. I'll try to zoom in on it. Sorry, it's a little bit shaky here. Um, so we basically select new test. Uh, I've already set up a special project for this, so we simply click on the next. We pick our calibration. Uh, we're going to name our material. I've already inserted the name here as a cotton shirt. We click next. And at this point, we're ready to start taking our measurements. The software is just looking for the sensor. It's located the sensor. And we're ready to press start. So one of the nice things about the TCI is it offers a very fast measurement time. Um, it typically, uh, you can get uh, five data points on a sample within five minutes. Uh, the measurement time itself is only one second, and the interval time between measurements is about a minute. And that's just to allow the sensor and the sample to come back down to isothermal conditions, so you can get a good, accurate measurement. So, the status bar here is telling us what's going on, and I'll try to zoom in on that a little bit. I don't know if it's uh, working well in terms of the resolution here, but uh, we have our first result back. Uh, we're getting a value of 0 0.076 uh, watts per meter Kelvin. I don't know if maybe we can zoom in there, try to clarify it. Well, we don't seem to get the very good resolution on the, the way I'm uh, filming this, but what we'll do is we'll post these results uh, shortly on uh, our webinar that we're going to be uh, launching later this week, and uh, we'll review the results. We're going to look at the three different uh, fabrics, um, and we're also going to look at their impact uh, from a relative uh, perspective, but then we're also going to look at it uh, in increasing the moisture content of this material uh, in uh, applying some water to these materials and wetting them. Uh, we want to look at the thermal effusivity absorbance uh, of the, of the um, material properties uh, as the moisture increases. Um, so for now, I'll sign off at this point uh, and we'll hopefully rejoin you here shortly with some results.